So today, I will be showing you how to let your friends join your Minecraft single player world. So Minecraft is a bit of a strange game. You can play it single player just fine. But as soon as you want to play together with some friends, it can become a bit complicated. You basically got three options. Either host a server on your own PC, which is extremely unsafe as you will need to port forward for other players across the world to join, which basically makes you an easy target for hackers. The second option will be purchasing a Minecraft realm, which will cost you 8 euros every single month doesn't allow you to install any plugins and it can only host you and 10 other players. In other words, not a great option. The last option will be purchasing a Minecraft server at a third party Minecraft server hosting company. Like for example, Alienhost. They are a partner of the channel and I will leave a link down below so you can check them out for yourself if you're interested. But that's it. Minecraft, unlike many other games, does not have a simple multiplayer option where you can just join a world, invite a friend, and play. Nothing more to it. No need to make a whole server. Well, in today's video, we're gonna address that issue, as I'm gonna show you how to set up the Essential mod, a Minecraft mod that does precisely that. Allow players across the world to join your single-player Minecraft world, so you can just play together. No need to make a server, no need to port forward anything, just click and play. So before we start, do make sure to leave a like, press that subscribe button, make sure to join my Discord, link will be down below, and then without any further ado, Let's dive right into this. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link in the description that will take you to the Essentials website. Now over here you will see some information about the Essential mod, what it does, what it's all about. It has a lot of cool features like customization for example. You can also take and edit and share screenshots all in game. But the most important thing probably is this. Host a single player world and invite your friends. A very simple feature, something that if you ask me should be in the base game but is just not. So what we're gonna do is scroll all the way back up again and click on download. After that you got a few options. You can either go for the installer, which will be the easiest by far, or if you're already running a mod loader, you can install the mod for that specific mod loader, so either Fabric or Forge. Now I'm just gonna show you the easy way, let's go for the installer. So simply click on installer, wait for a little bit and there it comes. After that we're gonna double click the file we just downloaded, so the essentials mod installer.exe and this this is what you will see. Welcome to the Essential Installer. To get started, choose if you want to create a new launcher profile or add essentials to an already existing one. I would just go for create a new one as it will make stuff a lot easier. So let's go for create a new profile, next. Then here you can change the name if you want to, you can change the version if you want to and what kind of mod loader you want. So you can choose either Fabric or Forge. Now I would highly recommend Fabric, actually as I think it works great. So let's just go for fabric. Let's click on create, wait for a little bit and there you go. You successfully installed Essential. So then we're booting up our Minecraft. You will see this 1.19.4 fabric essential. I'm simply gonna click on play. I understand. Play. And there we go. Essentials has been updated. Okay, that's cool. I don't want to get notified again. Let's continue. Okay, so here we are. Essential is installed. Let's go over some of the features. So here in the top left, you can see your Minecraft username. Now something that is really cool about this is that from here, you will be able to switch accounts. So currently, I'm logged in with my account Casasara. I do have another Minecraft account. I could add it to here. And without leaving the game, I could switch my account. That is awesome. Then here on the bottom left, we got the wardrobe. So when we click on there, we have to accept the terms of service. So let's just do that. Continue. And there we go. This is basically the essential store. You could see this as the Minecraft store inside of Bedrock Edition. You can just purchase all sorts of cool things like cosmetics, emotes, whatsoever. And when you join someone else's Minecraft world, someone who's also using the essentials mod, they will be able to see all this cool stuff. But do keep in mind that this all costs money. You will actually have to pay real money to be able to get this. It is fully up to you if you want to do that, yes or no. But the option is there. Then let's go back again. And over here, you can see a button called Host World. We also got a button called Social. And we got a button called Pictures. So let's go to Social first. Over here, you will be able to invite friends. So basically, you now got a friend list in game. And you can add other players to this friend list and then join their worlds. You even got a freaking in game chat like without having to join the server you got the in-game chat that's cool so if you would want to add a friend you can simply click on plus after that add friend 
and then type their Minecraft username here. Now I actually don't have any friends that have this mod installed, but my other Minecraft account is called Bradshop. I can just type his username here, then click on add and you will send a friend request. Now, when I click on add, I will just get an error as Bradshop does not have the essential mod installed. But if you do, then this is how you would add them. Now let's click on back again. And this time we're going to host world. Now over here, you will be able to select a single player Minecraft world that you want to host. Now you might be like, Kessa, sorry, you don't have any worlds here. Uh, that's true. I don't have any single player Minecraft worlds. I <laughs> never play single player. So let me just very quickly create one. I'm going to call it Epic Worlds. Just like that. Creative, normal. That sounds great. Let's click on create. Wait for a little bit. And there we go. We're inside of a single player Minecraft world. Now, when we click on escape, you can already see the option invite. So let's say that Bradshop would actually have the essential mod installed and I will be able to add him. Then I could just click on invite. This world will be hosted through your internet. Your host's IP will be visible throughout network logs. Do you want to proceed? Yes, we do, because we're just going to invite some friends. So we're going to click check. Proceed. And there we go. You can give some world settings. So configure a few basic world settings to get started. You can access more details later. So I want my friends to be in uh, survival. Difficulty should be hard. Cheats, not allowed. <laughs> and share RP. So share your equipped resource pack. If you got a resource pack equipped, it will actually share it. That is awesome. Now I don't have a resource pack on right now. So currently it wouldn't matter, but that is cool. So now we're just simply going to click on next. And over here, I will be able to invite a friend that I currently don't have. But if you do, you will be able to select a friend here click on done and they will be invited to your single player world that is absolutely amazing that is so cool like i said before most games have this functionality most games will allow you to just invite a friend to your world and it's so awesome that the essential mod adds that functionality so let's say i would now make a screenshot let's just make a nice screenshot i'm gonna grab myself a diamond block because i'm rich i'm just gonna press on my screenshot button there we go a screenshot has been taken you you can see it in the top right when we click on i in game you will get your screenshot manager so here it is we can favorite it if we want to we can also click on these three dots to get more options so here we will be able to edit it copy the image copy the link open the file location properties or delete it now when we click on there the picture will become bigger and i, I can actually edit it here so i'm just gonna click on edit and here i can crop it so i can make it smaller and i can also draw on here so so I can make it a little bigger and then I'm going to choose a color, for example, this one. And then the brush size is going to be like this. And then I can just draw here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's a smiley. He has hair. Wow, guys, I, I'm an artist. Okay, you can even go back. So redo and undo. Very cool. Now, I, I, I mean, this is perfect. This is what perfection looks like. So I'm just going to save it. And there we go. Screenshot saved. Yes. It's beautiful. Now, it does actually save as a copy, so we still got the original one. I don't know why I would want the original one, because this one is clearly superior. So I'm just gonna delete it. There we go, delete. Yes, goodbye. In this one, we'll get a favorite. Awesome. Okay, now here back in game, I'm gonna click on escape and then here we're gonna open the settings now. So click on settings and here you can just enable and disable a lot of stuff. So do you want the essentials mod to be enabled? Yes or no? The essential menu layout. So choose the layout of the essentials main and pause menus. You can have it fill, you can have it sidebar or off. So let's see what sidebar looks like. Okay, this is the sidebar one. So now everything looks a little different. It's more clean, more subtle, but still quite cool. Streamer mode, it even got a freaking streamer mode. You can disable that, yes or no. Then the GUI skill, just a lot of general settings. You also got some settings for emotes. So emotes you can get from the shop, which once again is real money. So be careful of that. But emote settings, notification settings, cosmetic settings. So as soon as you've purchased a cosmetic yourself or one of your friends has purchased a cosmetic, then you would probably want to turn this on. So you will actually be able to see them. And then here are some quality of life stuff. There are just some general settings you might want to go to. But overall, I think most settings here are fine by default. Here 
here you got some quick toggles as well. Hide my cosmetics, yes or no. Enable silent mode, yes or no. And disable full screen. Now I think this mod is really cool and really impressive. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will love it. And then guys, that's gonna be it. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. It would really mean a lot if you did. It actually would. Also don't forget to join my Discord server. Link will be down below. And then I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.